Hey, Andy there. Jolly good morning. And today I'm at uh, Luton Station in Bedfordshire. Uh, I'm going on a little uh, trip this morning with my travelling companion in the form of my four-year-old grandson. And what we're going to do, we're going to take the train into London, in, yeah, specifically when we go to London Blackfriars. And then we're going to go on a little adventure around the capital. First of all, we're going to uh, go across to, or go to the south side, to the bank side, uh, Uber boat or Thames Clippers, whichever you're calling them. Um, pier and take a ride to North Greenwich on the boat. Uh, after that we're going to take to the skies and go on the Emirates airline across to the north side of the river. That's a cable car by the way in case you've not heard of it. Uh, once we get over there we're going to jump on the Docklands Light Railway into the uh, to Tower Hill and the Tower of London. Have a little look around there and uh, once that's done we'll jump on the bus back to Blackfriars. We might stop for an ice cream, a lemonade and a packet of crisps along the way. We'll see how it goes. Now, if you're travelling into London, you, you may uh, most probably travelling on the train. I'm going to be taking a Thames Link service to Blackfriars this morning. Uh, you can buy uh, just a return ticket to London or a travel card. Travel card can include uh, transport within London. However, it won't include Thames Clippers or the Emirates airline. It will include buses, tubes, Docklands Light Railway. So bear that in mind if you're buying a ticket. Uh, if you're using the Oyster card in London, likewise, the daily cap on your pay-as-you-go Oyster card won't include the Thames Clippers or the Emirates airline, but you can use the Oyster card to pay for those when you travel. So uh, just bear those few small facts in mind. I won't babble on about prices because it will vary dependent on how you choose to pay, but it's all contactless once you're in London on the buses, the tubes, Buckland's Light Railway, Emirates airline and the boats. And I think that about covers it really. So um, are we ready to go? Shall we go? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Well, here we are. It's a bit of a, a trouble-free journey down from Luton, or the uh, South Bank entrance to Blackfriars Station. There, just going to take a little stroll along the bank side towards the uh, pier to pick up the boat and head off towards North Greenwich. Beautiful day for walking along the river, and uh, there's Blackfriars Station looking pretty good coming all the way across the river. Of course, you can get on, uh, enter the station from the north side or the south side, in and out. So it's a very convenient station to you uh, to use and conveniently located as well for lots of different things. But anyway, our interest today is one of those beauties. So we're going to go and head to the Bankside Pier and jump on one of those along to North Greenwich. Middle of London. And as we walk down to the south uh, on the bank side, if you want to say the south bank, I mean the bank side, towards the Millennium Bridge there. And just beyond that is the pier where we shall get the boat to North Greenwich. Looks like we're just about to miss a boat, so there's no point in hurrying. We 
and we'll get the next one. So we've got 15 minutes now to wait for the next boat, we just missed one but uh, not to worry, it's a beautiful day and we're just going to watch the whale go by. There's certainly plenty of, of, it, of it here in the centre of London. accommodation overlooking the River Thames.
this is Greenwich. So the uh, Maritime Museum is, and uh, that's uh, worthy of a day on its own, really. Certainly half a day. Can we get off now? No, we're not getting off here. We're going to North Greenwich. Next mode of transport, the Emirates Airline going over the River Thames from North Greenwich to the north side of the river. Fantastic ride there on the uh, Thames Clipper Uber boat from Bankside to North Greenwich. Uh, just leaving that now, we're going to go and find the way into the Emirates airline and uh, take a ride over to the north side of the river. Our uh, third mode of transport for today, or fourth if you include walking. Oh no, fifth, we came in the car to Luton Station. Oh, it's racking up. This is really cool, isn't it? Yeah. There's some stats for the, uh, well, can we call it aviation? Yeah. I'm not quite sure. Uh, cable car geeks, there you go. <laughs> is the fact you get your own pod in the group that you're in. So it's just myself and my little travelling companion here with me today. So we've got a whole pod to ourselves. Or cable car. Now what can we see?
police boat down there. See that boat? Come here. Over there. Is that little boat down there? Yeah, that's a police boat. That's the police. Yeah. You feel it rocking in the wind? Yeah. Can we sit down? Doesn't get a lot cooler than this, does it? There's another British Airways aircraft coming into London City Airport. Right over the River Thames now. <laughs> I don't think we'll fall in. We can swim though, can't we? So we'll, we'll be okay. Yeah, but I can't be that big. As always in London, lots of work, building work going on. As you can see on the north side of the Thames there. to arena poking out from behind those office uh, offices there canary wharf in the background and that's where we've just come from and the boats there the bigger boat should say that, that will be our next mode of transport. Docklands Light Railway. Too soon, we're heading back huh? down onto the north side. What's that noise? That's the, uh, all the building work going on underneath us.
Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny? You go on a cable car and everyone waves to each other. If you're walking down the street, nobody would be waving at each other, would they? And that's our flight with Emirates Airline. Almost complete. We're coming into land now on the north side of the River Thames. And guess what I can see? What? What's that over there? What? Over there, look. An ice cream van! Does that mean we've got to have an ice cream? Yes! Excellent, right. Let's take a break before we get the DLR back into the centre of London. Since I was uh, working on memory, I can't remember what the DLR station is on the north side of the Thames for the Emirates airline. And it's uh, Royal Victoria, Royal Victoria DLR station. Oh, and just over the road from the Emirates airline north uh, side, uh, airport or whatever you want to call it um, is Royal Victoria DLR station which we're just walking over to now it's literally a two minute walk and you can get the DLR back towards uh, central London from here in our case we're going to go to Tower Hill <laughs> yeah. DLR to Tower Gateway. Jubilee Line and local bus services. When leaving the train, please remember to take all your belongings with you. One of the cool things about the uh, Docklands Light Railway is that there's no driver cab at the front of it, so you can sit right at the front and look out of the window to where you're going to. So that's always the most popular seats and I was way too slow today to go and do that. This is Town Town. to it.
Well, that's our ride on the DLR complete. So uh, it's another mode of transport taken care of. Just gonna head back now to um, get the bus now, back to Blackfriars. Interesting, a treasure hunt on the DLR. I'll have to try that one day. Uh, that was our ride back from London Bridge, sorry, Tower Bridge, back to St Paul's Cathedral. We're just going to go back to where we started now and head back across the River Thames and we're going to take the cheaper option this time and walk across the Millennium Bridge. Here we are, about uh, three to four hours since we started off a uh, little adventure from Blackfriars Station over there and uh, joined the boat down to North Greenwich from the Bankside Pier just over there and um, yeah it's taken us I'd say about three and a half to four hours including one or two comfort breaks along the way and uh, thoroughly enjoyable it was too. Check out online for the various individual prices for those uh, modes of transport I went on. As I said before, the um, oyster pay as you go, you can use for you can use for both the, the boat and the Emirates airline. However, it doesn't get included in your daily cap.
mount for travel. Uh, the Docklands Light Railway and the bus that we went on certainly does and of course if you use any uh, trains or tubes that come under the Transport for London then that will also be included in that. Have a great trip to London when you come and I'll see you again soon, bye bye.